guys, this is what's going on today. Uh, I used the new Esperanza palette from Kat Von D. Um, there will be a short review kind of thing going on after the, uh, the makeup video itself. So yeah, I hope you enjoy um, and I'll see you after this. Bye! Okay guys, so to start I'm going to be using the Seaweed Mattifying Moisturizer from The Body Shop. I'm just going to rub that into my face uh, and press that into my skin. And then next I'm going to spray some MAC Fix Plus on my stippling brush before I put it on my foundation. And the foundation I'm using today is Yabby and in the color Buff. And I'm just going to stipple that all over my face nice and evenly and then rub it in. And then I'm going to switch brushes to my Real Techniques Buffing Brush and buff my skin. And this is just going to make sure my foundation is nice and even, I don't have any clumps anywhere or it's not darker than other places, and it just looks nice and smooth. Next, for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using uh, Velocity in 2AM from Sugar Pill. These are from the Heartbreaker palette. Next to prime my eye, I'm actually going to be using Too Faced Eye Insurance, and then I'm going to I'm going to place that all over my lid and lid and rub it all up, rub it in, and then I'm actually going to apply some under my lid also, or under my eye also, not under my lid. That would be painful probably. Okay, so. I'm going to be using the Esperanza palette from Kat, Bob, Kat Von D today. Um, the first color I'm going to be using is Dog Rose. And I'm going to place that in my crease. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Centuria and put that just above it and just blend those two, two, <laughs> those two in. And then just to kind of like tone it just a bit down and also add a little bit of a highlight to my brow bone, I'm using the South. Next I'm taking a flat brush and using Arch Angel on my lid and I'm going to just pat that on. Glow. 
and now it's kind of out of frame so I'm sorry I'm gonna use uh, Selena on my waterline sorry this is out of frame and next I'm gonna start with my uh, star my eyeliner I'm using the Plotio eyeliner uh, I'm using different brushes again uh, I am gonna make a bit of a mistake coming up here soon so sorry but I do fix it a little like fix it later on in the well not in the video because it's off screen sorry about to make that mistake. Yeah. Oops. But don't worry, I do fix it and yeah. <laughs> it was a close call. I get frustrated. Hey, for mascara, I'm using um, Bad Girl Lash from Benefit. Now for blush, I'm using Adventurous from Tarte. And just a moment here, really fix my hair. And I'm adding a little bit of powder. And then for lipstick, I'm using Cathedral right, from so Kat Von that D. Was and that's the it. Video for the Esperanza palette. I kind of messed up a little bit, but I saved it in the end, so. Um, okay, so first off, this is the Esperanza palette. There are eight colors, or eyeshadows. Um, they're kind of, they're very uh, spring colors. You have uh, Selena, which is this purple. Um, let me, there we go. Or wait, I did that totally backwards. Oh my goodness. Let's try that again. All right, you have Selena. Doll Glow, Galore, Lace Bow, um, Ar uh, Santeria, Archangel, South, and then Doll Rose. There we go. Excuse me. Um, most of them are shimmer. Uh, South is kind of like a matte. Um, there's no, like, a lot of shimmer or anything like that. So that's kind of cool. So this palette, you could do a good bit of different eyeshadows with just this palette. Uh, or <laughs> decent eye looks with this palette. Um, it's very, very, very spring-like, especially with this matte. Or not matte, but it's like a shimmery, pastel-y green. I would say green. Like a mint green. Um, and I use that today. Um, they're all highly, like, really pigmented um, for the most part. So there's those, and then there's um, one swatch on my hand, oh, in my thumb. So that's Selena, uh, Dad Glow, Glore, and Place Bow. Um, now the, the, I hope I'm saying that all around. Day Glow, excuse me, it's a Y, it's a Y. I thought it was two G's, oh my goodness. Day Glow? Excuse me. Oh my gosh. That's a little bit embarrassing. Anyway, Day Glow is a transformer shade. Uh, so it kind of looks white in the pan, but it has this like shift of like green in it. 
so that's pretty cool. I used that today too. Um, Selena is a purple shade with a bit of glittery micro glitter things that has a shift of like a teal, like a light teal color. Day Glow again is a transfer color. It looks white, but it has a shift of green also. Uh, Galore is like a peachy color with, uh, it's got some glitter it looks like, so maybe like red or like light pink kind of shift glitter in there. And then Placebo is another matte, matte color and it's just a nice kind of like orangey coral kind of color. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Uh, Santorina, uh, it kind of reminds me um, in the cold chemistry palette. Uh, what is it? Um, you know what I'm talking about. It kind of reminds me of the color that's in there, the teal color. It's like a really dark teal, but it has a shift of lighter teal glitter. And then Archangel, which, excuse me, hold on, let me wipe my hands off. Uh, which is probably my favorite color, and one of the reasons why I got, I got hush, I love my hands. One of the reasons why I got this palette it was because of Archangel's Archangel because it's like a mint green, but it's got a little bit of shift. It's like a pink and purple kind of glitter shift in there, and it's just really pretty. And it's kind of it's very unique. And then you have South, which is like a really light taupe kind of color, and then Dog Rose is like this brown copper with like gold going on in there. Like, it's really pretty. You can see it from there. So, all in all, this palette's pretty nice. Now, when I used them, I was kinda, I was a little bit disappointed, just a little bit, and that's because Archangel kinda is a bit dusty chalky, and it didn't stay in place as well as I wanted it to. Um, so, and that was using what kind of base? I used uh, Too Faced Shadow, Shadow Insurance for this look. So, maybe if I used a more stickier kind of base, it would work better. But I was a little bit disappointed that it was a bit chalky and not as uh, stable, I guess, as I wanted it to be. So that was kind of a letdown. Everything else, like all the colors I used, because I used Selena today, I used Day Glow, um, I used... Uh, Santeria and Dog Rose for this look so got a little bit of everything kind of going on um, so yeah the only thing the only letdown was the Archangel color and I was really kind of disappointed in that so yeah but other than that it's a lovely palette um, you could really easily use this all year round for different seasons and different looks uh, it has a good mirror going on, nice size mirror compared to my hand. I don't want to show you guys my messy living room. It's kind of messy right now. Um, so yeah, and plus the packaging is really, really pretty with the sugar skull and stuff going on there. So yeah. And this is actually my first eyeshadow palette from Kat Von D. I have a good bit of her lip products. Um, so yeah. It was nice. Uh, I like this look. It's, uh, it's not. I don't know. It's just different. I guess a little bit different than what I'm usually been doing lately. But anyway, I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, go buy the Esperanza palette. Also, I'm not being commissioned for this. By the way, I bought this with my own money. So, but yeah, I would suggest. Like, I would definitely suggest this to a friend. It's just a lovely palette. And got some unique uniqueness uniqueness to it. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys later. Bye.